Taurus, welcome back to Joy and Nose. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're going to say a quick prayer, and then we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Taurus on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 10.15 p.m. Today is October 20th of 2023. I hope you guys are doing well. So first things first, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I am seeing lots of fire energy. I just got a notification. It says she in. So just take it how it resonates. Um, but first things first, let's get into your reading. I'm hearing the countdown begins, all right? So set a timer for 10 hours and 34 minutes. You're going to receive confirmation of this reading when it goes off. I'm hearing multiple confirmations. I'm hearing up to seven. So definitely make sure you set that timer and take note of what happens. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles here with the seven of cups. Um, I feel like also go back in your camera roll, check your notes. Something about March 27th is coming back around. For some of you you could be dealing with a gemini um i'm also saying something about the home could be significant as well um also one more thing set an alarm for 2 29 a.m i was hearing you're gonna feel a renewal ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck when that alarm goes off and i know it's in the middle of the night but just prepare to be more energized around that time i was hearing no more sleep push forward towards your dreams so whatever you guys do i just feel like you're going to be very active around 2 30 but specifically set that timer at 2 29 whenever you see this 2 29 a.m there's a renewal for you when it comes to your energy you have the king of swords it's like your mind is going to be extremely sharp at that time more so than all other periods within the day queen of cups right there so moving forward also something about your intuition your ability to connect with your feminine energy whether you're a masculine whether you're a feminine there's just something about the nighttime that's um there's an activation for you you know um also for some of you i was hearing you could be preparing you're doing a lot of preparing for something tomorrow. Some of you may have to do a presentation, but I'm seeing the spotlight on you. I'm also seeing somebody in a conference room. I'm also seeing somebody like on a stage giving a presentation, you know? So I just feel like I, I'm hearing you guys need to make sure you ask harder and more interesting questions than ever before i'm seeing somebody doing like a ted talk but whatever it is that you're doing whatever it is that you're preparing for just make sure you're asking those hard difficult questions i'm also seeing somebody that like stands in the audience when there is a political le leader giving a statement and then they have to like ask a question or you may have some type of opportunity where you're going to a lecture you're going to a seminar the star here there's somebody that you respect and just make sure if you're given a chance at the end to ask a specific question make sure you make it a good one i'm hearing the virgo reading one shot do not miss your chance to blow so for some of you this could be about work uh, moving forward on the 24th or four days from the day that you see this i'm hearing no your birthday could be may 4th but i'm hearing no whatever that is on the 24th um you may have to like decline something. You may be double booked. I just feel like you're gonna have to say no to something on that day, but I'm seeing is like you already have something else going on. Um, moving forward, I also feel like another big message for you in this reading, yeah, temperance here. I feel like you may want to go watch the last Sagittarius reading, but you could have created a world with someone. I'm seeing Sagittarius energy and Aquarius energy. It's either you've created a world with somebody or you've created a world for yourself, but I feel like you're very protective over that world. I'm also seeing a couple who got together when they were very young in age. Yeah, Page of Cups right there, and they've like grown together, so they're very protective over that time spent together. Or this could be a dynamic say that you're, this could be for masculines. If you're in a relationship with somebody that's like younger, you may feel like this person's vulnerable. You may feel um, like it's your responsibility. I'm hearing your duty to make sure that they're safe. Yeah, Queen of Cups here. I'm just getting like a very protective energy. I'm also seeing a flip side to this. 
um where it's like you're constantly having to reassure somebody that you're all in on that world that you're creating you know it's like you're actively i see you actively like building a house and then somebody's standing behind you like are you sure you're building the house like for me and you're like i'm literally like building it like right now you know so that could start to get annoying for some of you as well ye four pinnacles look looks like he's building something you know but he's like frustrated now his treasure chest is closed he's not really opening that's that pinnacles energy and that's you so um yeah just kind of beware of that if you're actively working on something with the five of pentacles and i just see somebody kind of like bugging you it's almost like when you're on a road trip and it's like how much longer are we there yet like da 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 it's like we'll get there when we get there it'll be built when it's built you know something like that um okay moving forward so also for this month let's just stay with that for now and then we'll get into these more expansive energies on the i was hearing the number two and i was seeing the number seven i feel like the 27th going into the 28th there's that midnight energy again. I'm gonna link your Taurus midnight readings below, but I'm seeing, I'm hearing Thriller. You know, he's like, it's close to midnight. There's also a Libra reading. I think it's the Battle of 10 Kings where I was also hearing Thriller outside the store. So I feel like on the 27th going into the, it, going into the 28th, there's something about a shift at midnight for you. And I would pay, a lot of attention to that because we're officially going to be in scorpio season we're going to be very close to halloween we're going to be very close to the thinning of the veil as well so um yeah also some of you a cancer a libra or another taurus may invite you somewhere i feel like you should go but yeah there's a shift for you and if you're watching this at a later date um, a week from the day that you see this, that night going into midnight the next day, there's a shift, okay? All the readings are timeless towards energy here. So just whenever you see it, that's when all the times, everything will still sync up for you. Don't worry about it. Ten of Pentacles when I split the deck. Moving forward, okay. So now here's some research that you need to do with yourself. I feel like you need to look more so into your life path number. That's the key to your Akashic records here, or at least... A portion of it that's going to be important coming up i'm hearing coming right up or i'm hearing right after this commercial break so there's like a very small intermission between like you kind of studying you see the hierophant here and you see how it's a picture of his own face so it's like the school of you getting to know other aspects of you but there's like a very small commercial break or intermission before you're having to go through that door and be very skilled and well versed on all this information so all that to say it's important for you to know your life path number that's the key to your Akashics coming up I'm hearing something about the Orion spell constellation you may want to look into that too um, I was also hearing the rules of the wolves this tells me you're about to enter a new pack and you um, you looking into your life path number that's going to help you understand your role on this earth but also like your role on a minuscule scale when it comes to your positioning in this quote-unquote pack okay so um yeah be on the lookout for that get to know your life number ace of swords here it's really going to help you understand why you're meeting these people why you're coming into these people i'm seeing the dream team cancer energy so if you're in isolation at this time, if you're on your own, you created a world for yourself, you're lonely, you're bored, you're about to come into something new very, very soon, but you need to understand yourself and how you, what do you bring to the table, you know? It's like, um, a, like a production, everybody has their, their job, you know? You need to know yours and be very good at it, I'm hearing that. Queen of Swords here. Okay, so moving forward. We'll save that for later. Okay. I'm hearing Mark February 23rd, 2024, and put love, but we'll save that because I have some channel messages over here in alignment. Um, oh yeah, 
Also, another reason why it's so important with the Queen of Swords here on the bottom of the deck, you're going to be learning from someone very skilled and very meticulous. I'm, I'm hearing dangerous work. I'm also seeing somebody that has to be very precise, like a surgeon, you know, one wrong slip up, problems, a beekeeper, one wrong slip up problems you know like something like that so just make sure as you're learning from this person you're taking notes you're paying attention to every single thing that they teach you because i feel like it's going to be useful at some point wheel of fortune you may not know when but you're going to be glad that you have certain information trades skills when the time comes okay Moving forward, I'm also seeing a situation where there's like three people in a contract and there's two people trying to bully one person out of the contract. So you may be witnessing this, you may be one of these people, pick where you stand. But yeah, I'm seeing a group of three become a group of two, but not in the most polite of ways, all right? I'm seeing Collins Avenue. Yeah, even look at this. I'm seeing, I usually see they're outside the door, but I'm seeing they're on the other side and they've closed that person out. And I see them like high-fiving me, high-fiving each other. So maybe I'm getting like the Virgo reading, keep it in the family. Maybe you like let somebody outside the family become a, in a part of the business, but you could be putting that person back out justice here. Anyway, moving forward, I'm seeing Collins Avenue in Miami. Um, I'm also seeing tour guides. I was seeing the Cove. I'm seeing coves. I'm hearing something like, I'm hearing copper cove. Oh, let me see. It's uh, 1027 on the time right now. So yeah, definitely pay attention to that day. Let me see, let me see. I feel like this sounds like a place. I just wanna see if it exists and if so, where? South Carolina could be significant. says the cove sicily's best beaches some of you could be from there traveling there is it worth staying in san vito lo capo okay moving forward yeah i'm seeing somebody sun kiss i'm seeing shades of brown okay now here's where things get a little bit strange um yeah seven of wands here this is like kind of where you're needing to protect your energy defend yourself ace of wands so i feel like you're dealing with somebody who does things on purpose when they're mad at you and they were showing me a vision of this one time my beautiful pup he decided to put his bear in his water bowl because I was taking too long to take him outside. He'd never done anything like that before, but he's very intelligent, you know? So I come out in the living room and his bear is just like submerged in his water, you know? So I was seeing that. You may want to watch the Aquarius reading. It's called This Happens Fast, only because we mentioned the bear. I'll put that below as well. Make a note of that. But yeah, I'm getting like extreme manipulator. I'm hearing Slim Shady. You may want to watch the Capricorn reading as well. It's like five people that you need to be aware of. I'm hearing these names, Carl. These could be your names, their names, anybody's names. I'm hearing the name Jacob, Carl, Maribel. The name Sydney. The way, <laughs> the Wayne. Here, Dwayne. 
I'm also hearing not so fast something about Thomas the train it's like you may catch on to this and I feel like you may pump the brakes on something I'm seeing the 27th once again yeah eight of cups 27th and then moving into the eight of cups so I'm hearing tread lightly let's move forward I'm also hearing jealousy is poison Let's look at this side. So yeah, something, there's some type of conflict which leads to movement, which leads to you completing a cycle, all right? You have the nine of wands here, wounded warrior energy. I also feel like at this time, the blue jay is your spirit animal. Let's just see what that symbolizes. I saw one for the first time in California today. I used to see them in Atlanta all the time, but I was driving and it was flying really low and it was just so blue the way the sun hit it and it was so beautiful. Um, and I made a note of that, so blue J spirit animal. Okay, the blue J symbolizes comprehension, bold expression, communication, protection, faithfulness, devotion, awareness, loyalty, intuition, and trickery. You know, these are all in alignment of what we were talking about. Everything is good. Everybody's all in, created a world. But this manipulative energy, when somebody doesn't get what they want, if you have Sagittarius placements or you're dealing with the Sag, you may want to go watch the Medusa reading. You may want to go watch the most recent reading that we did for them as well because they've been dealing with this. But it's just interesting because they updated this, um, what is it called? this queue or this search, I guess, five days ago. Normally it says like 2021 or like 2019, 2018, but they just updated this five days ago, you know? So um, yeah, let me just grab a couple more decks, Queen of Wands. A couple more decks, let me just see. I just wanna, just wanna see something real quick, look a little bit deeper. Um, this one and that one. Okay. Yeah. You have the peacock on the bottom of the deck. And I'm seeing it's like if you do something wrong, if you do something that this peacock does not like, I just see the feathers coming out, which is normally a good thing. You know, it's normally something that symbolizes confidence, but I also see it as something that's used as like a threat, you know, as well. Hold on, let me see. What was the, I always forget. What was the peacock reading again? Could be dealing with that sign too. Let me just see. It's a Virgo. So you could be dealing with a Sag, Virgo, Aquarius here, okay? And yeah, this one is called 2100 day, initiation is complete, and Aries is on the way, envy as you attain Nirvana. So we just split the deck on that Queen of Wands. If you're dealing with an air sign right now, and things are headed into a weird place in the next uh, week or so, you could be dealing with an Aries or a fire energy coming up next. Yeah, King of Cups here. Mm-hmm. Anomaly, I feel like that's your energy here. I feel like you're very different, therefore you have to be with somebody that's different as well. Not only relationship-wise, but within friendship, so on and so forth. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like no matter how long it takes, you'll wait until you have that perfect group of people, that perfect person, whatever it may be. Um, King of Coins right there. So moving forward... I'm also seeing K9. Some of you could be getting a dog. Some of you could be training your dog here. Also, the song By Design by Kid Cudi. It came out in another reading the other day. I just couldn't think of the name of it, but it's coming out for you guys too. I will link it below. For some of you, be careful um, not to drive with somebody that uses their phone and they drive really fast. I don't see it ending well. Some of you could be cooking for a dinner party. Oh, big warning. This message right here is going to be very specific, very, very specific. So I went to the store today. I was looking for some necklaces 
And when I was checking out, I saw, first of all, first of all, I went into the store behind this lady. And what I noticed is she was just like completely unaware of the lady that was coming out of the store simultaneously. Like she was walking in, I was behind her, but somebody was coming out. She did not let the lady come out. She like just opened the door and just kind of like pushed past her. And I was like, wow, rude. So I opened the door, let the lady come out. And then I went in. So I got what I needed pretty quickly. I'm checking out and I noticed what she was buying. I just never personally seen anybody buy anything like this. Um, okay. Yeah, strength here. So for some of you, I'm getting a situation where somebody's, this is gonna be so specific, okay? And I'm only getting it under these pretenses. So listen to the details. If it's not these details, I don't feel like it's you, okay? Somebody's mother could be doing black magic on their child's relationship, especially if they kind of feel like they have say so or control over who they should be with. I feel like this archetype or this person, whether it's somebody's mother, whether it's an ex, whoever it is, this person could be a bully. Go back to July 16th in your camera roll, check your notes. If this part resonates, you're gonna get confirmation of this person or who this is when you go back. Check your camera roll, your notes, something about July 16th. That could be somebody's birthday, all right? This person could be from El Salvador. This person could have, yeah, temperance. This person could have purple hair. But I was so taken aback because it's so bold to me for somebody to try to tamper with somebody else's relationship. Like only bad karma could come from that. And they literally showed me, I was seeing her right, her right wrist dangling, right? And I was seeing like, I heard sirens immediately after. So anybody that's trying to tamper with you, and I'm getting like, I feel kind of nauseous right now. Anybody trying to tamper with you energetically, is not gonna that same hand that they were trying to use to conjure up whatever is not gonna be like working you know so just know that yeah ace of cups right here it's a foolish decision and then you have temperance so i just wanted to give that warning to you guys um protect yourselves look up crystals for protection whatever ones resonate with you i would keep them on you you know but pray pray for protection you know and like ultimately nothing's gonna affect you everything just yeah look everything just boomerangs right back to the people doing this every single time because ultimately how do you say you're spiritual and you trust spirit and you trust your guides but then you feel the need to go and intercept and handle things yourself those two things can't many things can exist at the same time but those two things can't you know so yeah um moving forward I'm also seeing like somebody discussing you in a different language, like asking about, um, this could be your property for some of you. I'm hearing Manish, which symbolizes the God of the mind. You could definitely be dealing with an air sign for sure. I don't know what this says, hold on oh it looked like it said like henry but it says itinerary <laughs> some of you could be traveling soon um hearing a song by usher and beyonce bad girl i'll link that below as well you may resonate with it some of you you may create children's books as well I'm seeing somebody that wears a cross necklace on Wednesday, you're going to receive some type of uh, communication. I'm seeing Gemini energy, but you're going to get like the other side. You're going to get the other side of the story. You're going to have some type of hindsight, okay? For some of you, you may work for a company and I see you recruiting people of different ethnicities to work or for hire. You need people that speak many different languages. I also feel like something weird is gonna happen at a baseball field. I'm seeing whiskey. Last warning, actually two more messages, but one more kind of warning. I'm seeing, okay. We did a Leo reading called The Pirates Are Coming Through the Portal. And it's crazy, that video just ended just then. 
We did a reading called um, The Pirates Are Coming Through the Portal on Tuesday for Leo a couple weeks ago, but I feel like every week since that reading, it's just like gotten stronger. I'm seeing a pendulum that's like starting off slow, but each week it gets stronger and faster, you know? So this week specifically, since we will officially be in Scorpio season, I'm seeing it kind of be a little bit more intense. I was hearing like the pirates are waiting at Devil's Gate. Yeah, I'm hearing warning extra large portal. I'm also seeing a wave of darkness. I'm hearing three o'clock PM coming in hot. Hot enough to burn houses down. So, okay, that's metaphorical right there. I feel like whatever is coming through on Tuesday, the last wave of anything that didn't get knocked down, anything built on not rock solid, foundation false pre whatever that is this tuesday coming in that's where everything's gonna get knocked like anything that's just like left standing that needs to be locked down or knocked down that's where it's gonna be i'm saying demolition yeah isolation here why because sacred space why because luck is coming in and what dates have we been talking about the 27th and the 28th those are the only two cards that came out so a lot of shit that's been smooth might be shaken up you know so sacred space can be created you know so just be on the lookout for that some people have still been living in an illusion remember how i said on the 24th there's something about no Maybe on the 24th, that no, I feel like you see how he's looking in the mirror. Maybe it's something that you haven't been wanting to realize, but like by the 27th, you have no choice. Like I see something kind of being flashed at you on the 24th and you're like, no, like illusion, no. But on the 27th, it's like, all right, isolation time, like let's go. If this is for you, if this is for you, that part won't be for everybody, but you'll see, time will tell, it always does, but upheaval just fell on the ground. Also, last thing, I was hearing, yeah, things take off and shift quickly within your emotions. Now, for some of you, I saw a license plate like in real life and it said 7777JJ77. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know that message for some of you. Between like now and December, I may be running into some of you because those are kind of my initials and all those sevens, chariot energy. So like we may be crossing paths. Some of you may meet somebody with JJ, but I don't know. That one just felt like a little bit personal. Let me pull on it. I would love to cross paths with, you know, Soul tribe members only. <laughs> yeah, you have temperance and the six of swords. I see journeys intercept intersecting or intersecting, and I'm also seeing the Leo reading. It's like two worlds colliding. So we'll see. We'll see. Just death and transformation. Just see. We'll see. I keep hearing we'll see. Getting a lot of things are up in the air at this time. So let's get into it. Um the next 11 days pay attention to the details for clarity okay okay so you're coming out strong empress on the bottom of the deck here I feel like you have your focus I'm hearing your gaze set on something also, it's interesting. I feel like you're coming into a period of like, you're not very defensive at this time. If you were, you see how her guard is down, her shield is down here. I also feel like you're allowing your intuition to discern for you. It's like you're not leading with your shield. It's like you're leading with your observation and that's deciphering whether or not you need to pick up that shield. So I'm seeing a very soft energy shuffle for Taurus.
Some of you, feminine energies, I feel like you could be dealing with a cancer. I'm also seeing a fire sign masculine energy as well. You could be going back and forth in your mind. I'm also seeing you dream of these two people. Shuffle for Taurus. I see it's like you're in, you have, you may have many options here with the Two of Pentacles. And it's like you're trying to decide what would bring you the most happiest. Oh, wait. What would bring you the most happiness and what would make you the happiest? Like, I feel like the ball's in your court when it comes to where you want to go, what you want to do. There's something about the 29th. You know, I also feel like your options are reopened on the 29th. We have the 27th, you have isolation. The 28th, you have luck and movement. And now on the 29th, you have options, you have happiness, you know? So you have, you can do, you can do anything from here. You have the fool right underneath that as well. And the six of wands, you have a lot of support behind you. So I also feel like doors that will be open at the end of the month, are not open right now that's the message i was getting in the shower right before i started this reading like what they were showing me was how eight months ago i was in florida but now i'm in california you know the difference in those things were a day a moment a couple of days you know so you can't really look at what's going on right now when you're focused on the future because things are changing moment to moment and that's how you get stuck right so what you're looking at right now is very much subject to change over the next week or so just know that and be prepared for it knight of pentacles yeah eight of cups cancer had like an abrupt you're moving suddenly out of nowhere you know vibe as well initiation some of you this may happen because of an opportunity capricorn energy right there i feel like you're very happy to accept this yeah but this is something that's big it's undeniable it comes in fast it's not something that you can say no to and i do feel like it may disrupt other plans that may exist at this time as well you will know what this is a lot of you will know what this is by the 26th and maybe that's why, that's where the isolation comes in on the 27th. Yeah, well, you'll see. You will see, my friends. Okay. Let's see. Keep getting this, like, travel light vibe. Mm -hmm, the sun here. Shuffle for Taurus. I'm hearing I have good news and I have bad news. There's something unexpected about the 24th as well. Especially when dealing with a female air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's like there's this unexpected energy that comes in. This is four days from the day that you see this. And then all of a sudden something shifts. Hold on. I'm seeing Aquarius energy, heavy Aquarius energy. Something about the internet could be significant. Shuffle for Taurus. Also seeing maybe like somebody tells you something and I see you just kind of like running away. Yeah, Taurus energy failure here. I'm hearing, oh, hell nah, child design, more Taurus energy. Interesting. So we said like this unexpected energy and then everything changes. I see you running away, right? And then look what came out. The Empress like expressing herself with power here. 
Also, this could be a thing where it's like somebody just kind of like drunkenly tells you that they have feelings for somebody else, but you're in a relationship, you know, and you're fully committed. Because I'm seeing you go from feeling very um, established in something like we started off with. You created a world, you know, you feel protective over this. It started at a young age and then suddenly you just kind of feel like very small, very like dumb is not the word, but feel like you feel taken aback by what you hear. This could also be something where it's like, maybe somebody says something thinking that you won't take it that seriously, but you do, like it's a deal breaker. could be about like something that somebody used to do for work because that came out in members it was like we were like we were all joking about that in the chat it was like if you you didn't know that the person you were about to marry had like an only fans account or like the Polaroids from Libra's reading, it's like if you're in a new relationship, you're cleaning up the house, da -da -da, you come across this shoe box and you see this person's like old photos, like <laughs> with somebody else, Empress and Emperor here. And then you're like, wait, what the, f what, 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 like, <laughs> I'm hearing forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, you know, like. I'm hearing a scratch on the record, yeah. So there could be something like that, Taurus. Just like brace yourself a little bit, I'm just saying. But all of this to say that there will be something that comes out of it if this is the case. Mm -hmm. But devil here, I'm hearing, look at me in my bad self. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Four of Wands, you could be dealing with an Aries. Shuffle for Taurus. So interesting, so spicy, so scandalous. I feel like I'm listening to like a commercial for Snap. <laughs> it's like a Snap marathon and they're trying to like make me watch it. Hearing like all of those words, like scandals, frivolous, like, I don't know. To die for, like what? <laughs> Where's my chapstick? Oh, it's actually down here. I did not put my per my purse on the floor, by the way. I put it on this, so I don't do that. That was close, though. That was too close for comfort. To all my brown people out there, y'all know what's up. Sh shuffle for um, Taurus. Yeah. It's like there's something that, ooh, yeah, there's something that you didn't previously know. And then it's like you find out and I just feel like it's a non-negotiable seven of swords. You feel slighted that you didn't know sooner. This could even be like maybe somebody dated somebody that you're close friends with and you feel like both of them never, to, I don't know. Shuffle for Taurus, it could really be anything. Yeah, but whatever the Seven of Swords is, it's in reverse now because it gets exposed. High Priestess here. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, Seven, Seven, this is a warning. This is a warning. For a lot of you, be prepared for things to change. No matter how long, no matter how stable they felt, not to scare anybody. This won't be for everybody, but... Whatever is not built on a firm foundation, like I said before, this is the last wave coming in. It's the last wave. It's the last like storm of this energy at least, you know? It's like you get a hint on the 24th, you get a hint in four days, you ignore it. Nah, never, can't be. You heard, you heard him sigh? You're like, psh, psh, right? On the 27th, I feel like there's no denying like whatever this is. Yeah.
and then you have Taurus energy, failure. You have 777, the end of a cycle right there. However, you're protected throughout this process. Whatever it is that you're becoming in the know about the sun here, you need it to know. It's better now than later. It's better now than seven months from now, seven years from now, you know? I'm hearing seven vows from now take that how it resonates i don't know maybe you were gonna do like you were planning all this extravagant shit. i'm seeing like seven weddings like in the yeah seven right there i'm telling you i'm telling you sacrifice hangman some plans are about to change because spirit has bigger plans for you that's the only reason why if this is your message i'm hearing you were aiming too small i'll never forget <laughs> actually yeah i'll i'll tell you guys it's just a little quick story but in alignment with this i remember a couple years ago i think somebody asked me what my dream car was and i'm not saying this is like it's my dream car in a sense that i would be happy driving this at when i turned in my 30s i would be happy driving this while i'm in my 20s still i would be happy driving this at 40. but i told them what the car was i don't want to say because like you, you don't say your manifestations and they were like oh well you should have bigger dreams and i was like <laughs> I mean, true, I get it, but damn, like, way to shit on my, my future car. But that is giving me the same vibe, like, your dream is very minuscule, you know, like, you can aim higher. Not saying that you can't want certain things, but, like, more so, like, set a higher standard for yourself. That's what I feel like they said to me in so many words, and that stuck with me, clearly, because I'm talking about it right now, but... I still want that car, the same car that I was talking about. I still want that car, but you know, I have my eyes on some other things too for later down the line. But yeah, show up for Taurus. Don't lower your standards. And like I said, whoever you have coming in, I keep seeing that Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Your last reading, it was like, yeah, 41, 41. It happens unexpectedly, you guys. Your ex stiffens you, your new boo melts you. All that fire that they bring in is gonna be super hot. So I would not worry too much. Just know you're covered, you're taken care of. Yeah, Eight of Wands, something moves so, so, so fast. You know, like, ostriches and emus i'm seeing their necks it, i'm seeing like energetically somebody can feel whoever this queen of wands is or king of wands whatever it is they can feel that you're available on the 27th or, or the 28th and i'm seeing like their neck like extendo neck like come from around the corner i'm seeing in the britney spears video when he takes off his astronaut helmet and then his head like extends but i'm seeing them like see you from around the corner and then they just it just happens really fast it's all energy though it's all energetically and it's interesting because the air sign it's like they had to take this boat i'm seeing the fire sign you know those lizards that like run on water <laughs> they call them like the jesus lizards i'm seeing that's how they're coming towards you you know so it's a whole different vibe whole different vibe yeah four of wands you're going to be very happy though it's a really nice balance mm -hmm. you have the ten of pentacles on top four of wands on the bottom i'm also seeing like way down in the future i'm seeing one person like flipping burgers i'm seeing the other person like entertaining the friends it's a great great balance yeah A lot of you were dealing with an air sign. What you cannot see here with the moon on the bottom of the deck is in the future, further down the line, I feel like every day would have just felt like a battle, like a nonstop battle of quote unquote wits. But is it wits if you're wasting so much time battling? Like, why are we together? Use your wits and leave then, you know? It's just, it's like a lot of redundant energy. And I feel like that's the only thing you'll be missing out on. So if you're wondering, you know, how things would have went in that other situation horribly. Butting heads every fucking day. Every day. 
Who wants to wake up and like play football? Who wants to wake up and get tackled? Hopefully not domestic violence, holy shit. Wow, but like emotionally, energetically, you know, that's what I'm seeing. So yeah, you're making a wise investment. Mm hmm. Damn. Okay, let's move forward. It's got super hot. You have discipline and you have success. I also feel like we split the deck on relationships. We started with discipline, success, and relationships. Your relationship truly can be a make or break within the success that you're able to attain, you know? Because if you have somebody that kind of holds you back, who keeps you stagnant, who's afraid of what you can or might do, go watch the last Sagittarius reading, that'll really affect and impact your day-to-day, -day, your success, you know, what you're able to do because you'll always have this person's feelings in the back of your mind, right? And going back to that manipulative energy, you just have to make sure that the people that you invite into your life, you know your vision entering, they know your vision entering, so there's no like room for error as you go down your path together, you know? No one can say like, oh, I didn't know exactly who you were when I entered this, right? It's so, so important. And I feel like I said, in the channel messages, the spotlight is on you in some way. You have like all these different things that you're preparing for. You need somebody that, I'm hearing sturdy, something about New York. You need somebody sturdy by your side. The person you meet may be from New York, yeah. But you need somebody that's gonna <laughs> another paradox hold you down, but not like an anchor, you know, like I got Taurus, I'm a ride for Taurus, but not like to suppress and to suffocate, you know, there's a difference in that. If you love something, let it go. Yeah, success here, let it go. If it comes back, honesty, you know, it's meant to be all that. That's healthy dynamics. You don't need anything that's like Taurus clingy octopus reading. So fear, holding on to something out of fear, that's not healthy. Surrender. I'm hearing surrender to the divine. Let me see last spread for Taurus. Yeah, expect the unexpected, you guys. And you have the king of wands and you have the queen of swords. So whether you're a masculine energy, I feel like you're going from a dynamic with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, to something with a more fiery undertone. And if you look, the queen of wands slipped out right underneath the king of wands. We haven't touched, shuffled, nothing. And that also tells me it's like something's automatic. Something is like, hearing automatic, all of that. But I feel like you see it and then it's just like a click, you know? We haven't shuffled, we haven't touched the deck, but they're still popping out next to each other. Queen of Wands right there. Automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. That's what she says, yeah. Shuffle for Taurus, anything else? For a lot of you, it's like you're just coming into the realization justice. You're just justice. You're just coming into the realization that you have been in a toxic contract. You have all major arcanas here. The hermit, strength, devil, justice, king of pentacles. But it's like now that you're made aware, you have the knight of pentacles and the knight of swords. You can break things down and do something about it here. Hold on one second. Well, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm seeing a Libra. Heavy Aquarius here, too. Anything else? Let me see. I feel like something's going to take place at night. Also here, if you go looking for something, you're going to find something, you know? So 
for some of you guys like this is something that's like instigated in instagram yeah you have trickery again dominance here protection some of you you've been in this dynamic since 2016 Power 16 just popped out and chariot now you're moving out of it high priestess let me see anything else for some of you this is about homes you're moving out of a home yeah eight of swords with the emperor someone could be moving out of your home For some of you, it's like you're realizing that you need to protect your finances here. Maybe realizing that's what somebody has their eye on. There's that cross that we were seeing in the beginning. This person may wear a cross around their neck. It's not very holy of you though. That's a deadly sin. It looks like greed to me, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken um and this could be, and that's the paradox like this could be somebody that's like i don't know you guys will know you guys will know what it is for you shovel for taurus yeah okay yeah that's about it that's about it i'm just seeing for you king of pentacles here in the ace of wands whatever this new opportunity is whatever this new situation you have coming in you're gonna have all the happiness in the world whilst somebody else air energy source energy is just gonna be kind of like thinking about all the times you know they could have done better in this dynamic and that's fine that's where people learn and grow so everybody has to deal with that at some point um i just feel like I just want to pull one more card. Yeah, temperance. Okay. We're good, Taurus. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. And God bless.